gentlemen welcome back to my youtube channel Elliot wave principal i'm your host shaheen it's time for us to look at gold and silver and see how they are going to do in 2023 or we can say what major swing is expected next in gold and silver are we uh, have we already completed the bottom in gold and silver where things are headed and we're going to look at it we are going to discuss gold and silver now uh, if you have already seen my videos i based my studies and research on wd gain analysis purely sometimes i use elliott wave analysis as a representation tool there are some um, aspects of elliott wave analysis that are definitely useful uh, while studying wd gain analysis so we are going to use that analysis to present to you even if you are not familiar with wd gain analysis and if you have a a familiarization with Elliott wave analysis and the different patterns that are used in Elliott wave analysis as you guys are well aware of it uh, that we um, use different sorts of patterns we identify them uh, part of them at least and we can tell what's expected next depending on the pattern uh, so we are seeing some interesting uh, w uh, sorry patterns and we're going to discuss them on a longer time frame weekly time frame and we'll see which are, uh, which way the major price action is expected the gold chart is in front of us first of all let me drag this to 1900 I'm expecting that 1900 is an important angle uh, price we are not to move uh, beyond 1900 uh, somewhere and the better point is if you want to put your uh, stop loss on the upper side okay what gives it means if stop loss is upper side probably had you guys have had a hint that we are to expect prices on the downside I am expecting for the prices to go on the downside I'm expecting that the pattern actually started from over here the pattern that we have in front of us actually started from over here and then we are looking at that pattern right now in a close-up let me delete that and delete that as well so I'm right now considering that we have the start of the pattern is here and this is an A and this bottom is a B and then this is our C we are very very close to the completion of C uh, this is called an expanded flat pattern where price is actually gone beyond the previous uh, the starting point of A and we are right now completing a two degree ending diagonal wave C is an ending diagonal within the flat correction wave C is an ending diagonal and not only wave C is an ending diagonal but the wave 5 is also seems to be completing an ending diagonal so within the larger structure that we are calling A, B and C which is a corrective pattern I'm considering that we have probably started the structure right over here wave C is started over here the start of the pattern wave 1 and 2 is right over here wave 3 is right over here wave 4 is right over here we see a little bit of overlapping and wave 5 we are very close to the completion of wave 5 within wave 5 we can see if you can zoom that in into an hourly time frame chart we can see that wave 5 is also and ending diagonal it does happen from time to time that the five will turn into an ending diagonal so let's go and see what's expected on an hourly if you can actually point out an important points on our hourly chart so here is the here's the pattern uh, there are different corrective patterns that I'm looking at it uh, you can definitely see that we have kind of a zigzag move right over here and a flat correction right over here we have another move right over here which is all the way up here and then prices came up and we kind of see just a bit of overlapping right over here with the previous uh, correction or you can consider it as if if this is not the correction that we are considering then we can consider it as a double zigzag right over here in this case this is a pullback right over here and we have another move going upside so a lot of overlapping has happened when a lot of more overlapping has happened it is um, it is best decided to leave through the price levels so once we look at the price level right over here first of all we can definitely see um, that prices are kind of following this trend line every time prices got close to the trend line they moved up right over here they got close to the trend line they got close to the trend line they got close to the trend line and they got close to the trend line and right over here as well and then we moved up as well so this trend line is definitely useful what I want personally to use is I want a more uh, noisy level and a clear level uh, this is 1786 which is also seems to be the previous top I know is further deep and if you're interested you can definitely move it up right over here in this area which is 1826 and it's a, a better point as compared to 
the previous one. The reason is that 1826 is also a bottom and a previous top as well on a smaller time frame as well. So this top is being is required providing support right over here. So you can either use 1786 or 1825, 1826 as a trigger point for the prices to reverse. I am expecting for gold and silver to reverse on a major trend downward. Let's delete these levels so we can actually see the clutter out. And let's see what's happening on a daily time frame. Oh, so the next major level when you look at the chart, uh, let's go into the the weekly time frame so you can actually see the level. Okay, the next level that we are interested to see is this one. All right, if you see the whole pattern, then then this level is very very important. Thirteen seventy one, fourteen hundred dollar is also a round up number. So we will keep our target at fourteen hundred dollar for gold and right now let me bring it at which is around good round of number uh, fourteen hundred dollar somewhere over there so we are expecting a major major trend on the uh, short side in gold uh, right now it's trading at 1875 so we had good 475 dollar an ounce away from the bottom forming uh, whether the bottom will be quick and we move out or we can actually form a bottle or we can push a little lower but definitely definitely the one thing is sure that we are actually headed downward this bottom is expected to be formed in next three to four months right now we're talking about january 9th so we had um we can say that the bottom can is expected around the earlier part of april we can push it to may as well so next four five months three to five months are important uh, we are definitely seeing a massive massive weakness in gold market and this is uh, an interesting trading opportunity uh, I wanted to present my analysis so that we can have uh, you know some guidelines there are people who are really bullish once again it's uh, everybody has a has their own reason but I wanted to present my analysis uh, and see where things are heading okay let me have a look on a 15 minute chart um, I have a short position open on gold and I want to see how things are going so the next ch thing that you want to see is silver and see where exactly the silver has had it uh, silver chart is right over here and let me close that right over here so you can actually see now a lot of people are although uh, really happy with silver uh, silver has gone up shootingly they are ignoring a simple simple tool and which is this trend line right over here from the top right over here if you look at the technical analysis of a silver it's purely bearish even though we have seen the prices gone deeper right over here uh, once again this was made a forecast by me that we were expected to see a, a deeper move in gold and silver and then we have seen both of them gold went up quite nicely silver went up quite nicely and what's the major turn the silver gold is expected to go down and silver both are expected to go down so if you look at this trend line this trend line is a very very simple tool we can easily see the weekly time frame that as soon as the prices got close to we are seeing a noise a lot of resistance coming in hand last three to four weeks a lot of overlapping on daily time frame on hourly time frame that's what we're going to zoom in into in a bit but right now just look at it from purely uh, technical perspective the top was important okay let me see if you can actually look at so we move sharply up and then from this top we ha the silver has silver has been uh, really struggling and if you zoom into it what's happening is is that we have prices come down and then we s saw a correction forming a lower high as compared to this one when prices came down then we have seen a lower low as compared to the previous low and then when prices got up the correction also created a lower high as compared to the previous side right over here when prices came down right over here we have a previous a lower high uh, sorry a lower low as compared to the previous low so this is a step kind of uh, uh, we are forming a step downward lower low and lower high is being created which itself is extremely extremely bearish don't look at the the depth of the correction just look at the pattern the pattern is yet not broken we are right now very close to the trend line and I'm expecting that we are going to go down right over here so right now I'm bearish on silver my stop loss is around twenty seven dollars right over here uh, we can definitely push it right somewhere in the upper middle section over here 
I think it's a better idea to put just stop loss right over here and then we can sh be short for new next three to four months so this is something that I wanted to bring into your attention uh, I'm bearish on gold I'm bearish on silver um, once again the pattern is overlapping we can definitely um, give us a different kind of uh, uh, an ABC structure we have an A right over here we have a B right over here let me delete that and then we have a whole C right over here Within C, it looks like the last part of the wave is also forming an ending diagonal. Wave 1 right over here of the C, wave 2 right over here, wave 3, wave 4 and wave 5. Let me see if you can quickly actually over uh, label it in case you are missing some point. This is an A, uh, that's a B as per my own analysis and this is wave C. Uh, within wave C, we are seeing a 5 wave structure. This is the start of the structure right over here. This is wave 1 right over here and that's our wave 2 this is our wave 3 this is our wave 4 and that's our wave 5 and within the wave 5 as you guys can see there's a lot of overlapping on a on a hourly time frame so wave 5 is also indicating an ending diagonal with so much overlapping once again we do not want to make a discussion which one is exactly the top and which uh, mm, a pattern is being formed because there's a lot of uh, overlapping that's happening on a smaller time frame and it's not easy to point everybody has seems to have their own opinion about the pattern that's seen and that's fine so that's why we can rely on the uh, one thing that we have is here is uh, the support and resistance levels so this level right over here is important right over here we can see that this level of 2257 is important right over here it's the same level we can bring uh, a line over here we can draw this level right over here and when prices penetrate through this we can see that we have created a top right over here I hope that I was able to provide some assistance there once again um, uh, the WD GAN analysis that I have used is purely purely uh, scientific it's nothing to do with astrological It's completely scientific mathematical uh, modeling is being used to uh, bring this research to you I hope that I will be able to provide some I was able to provide some assistance in your analysis. Wish you good luck with your trading. Have a good one and bye-bye.